morning everybody it's sunday and it's april 26th and i hope that you had a good restful night's sleep and that uh, you are relaxing a little bit <coughs> on the weekend uh it's sunday it's gonna start raining soon we just came back from our walk and it was starting to drizzle a little bit so it's a good day to sit and watch movies or do crafts. Is anybody doing any crafts or coloring or, or making stuff or baking? You know, it's a good time to learn a new hobby from mom and dad, like cooking or baking or something. Just a thought. <laughs> All right, let's start our day in prayer. In the name of the Father and of the Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Let us say the morning offering. Lord Jesus, thank you for bringing me to this, the beginning of a new day of life. I want to share this day with you. May everything I say and do and think please you and be my way of thanking you for all that you have done and do for me. Amen. In the third week of Easter time, we continue to rejoice that Christ is risen. The two disciples in the gospel were very sad until they recognized Jesus in the breaking of the bread. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Now, on the same day, two of the disciples were going to a village called Emmaus. While they were walking, talking, and discussing, Jesus himself came near and went to them, with them. But their eyes were kept from recognizing him. As they came near the village to which they were going, he walked ahead of us as if he were to go on. But they urged him strongly, saying, Stay with us. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, blessed it, broke it, and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and then he vanished from their sight. That same hour they got up and returned to Jerusalem, and they found the eleven and their companions gathered together. They were saying, The Lord has risen indeed, and he has appeared to Simon, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Think about this silently in your heart. Where besides at Mass do we recognize the presence of Jesus? Mm, that's a good one. All right, let us think about all the people we want to pray for special today. And keep them in our hearts, or you can say their names out loud at home. And let us say the words that Jesus gave to us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We almost finished the Our Father before she started drinking her water. I don't know. I think you can hear that big, that sound. <laughs> All right. So this morning's virtue is the virtue of loyalty. It has a dog on there. And there's a dog's picture, like my dog. Um, <clears throat> loyalty is standing up for something you believe in, having unwavering faith. It is being faithful to your family, your country, your friends, your ideals, your school. When you, when the going gets tough, as well as when things are good. When you are a loyal friend, even if someone disappoints or hurts you, you still hang in there with them. Loyalty is based on commitments, commitments you make and plan to keep forever. You know who's been really good at this virtue during distance learning? Your teachers big time. They've been very loyal to your, you, their students, and to our school. The practice of loyalty. I support people and ideas that I believe in. I am faithful through good times and bad. I keep my commitments. I don't allow blind loyalty to lead me into trouble. I don't let others come between me and those I care about. Loyalty helps me to be a true friend. It's a good one. We have one birthday today, so a very happy birthday to Madison Burnell in our third grade. 
Happy birthday, Madison. I hope you have an awesome day today. Um, and that's it. Have a good Sunday. I'll be back tonight with story time. Bye, everybody.